Good morning. So today um, I need to, well, I think the thing I should address first is running Snippy Pixie in Wayland because that's not working at the moment or wasn't quite some time ago. Um, and then I added this issue. So um, and let's do that. Um, let's just double check where I was last time. Uh, yeah, okay, well, that's there. So I should have everything uh, pushed up and good. Right, okay. So to do this test from Wayland, um, because I'm using i3 window manager, um, which is x11 only, um, x11 server, um, I need to run a VM basically. Um, so I will run that. Uh, over here, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it in its own little session. Um, so it's been a while since I've done this. It was Ubuntu twenty two oh four, I think. Um, that we had an issue running. Snippet Pixie on. So we'll get it up and running. It's been a while since I've used this, so it's possibly going to need some updates and things. Oh, I didn't run it right. Oops. I've got to remember that I've got NVIDIA drivers here. So I need to use this spice display. Here we go. All right. All right, so I'm close that off. Right. Okay. So I've previously configured this, so hopefully none of it's clipped by my head, even when I have it at this size. Um, okay, so I'm expecting it to pop up with a update in any time soon. But while I wait for that, Let's um do that here. Yeah. Let's make sure we've got an environment here that I can use to build Snippy Pixie in Ubuntu. Uh, so I think I put it in the right place. How old is this? Well, it looks to be... Hmm. Wow, June, okay. Uh, it's now just gone mid-August, so this is quite old. Okay, so hopefully it's not... Oh, I've got to remember this is all going to be... Oh, okay. I have to be careful here. Uh, I don't have my normal setup in here. So hmm. this will be interesting. Don't really want to be doing too much work in here. Anyway, uh, let's see if I can get everything. Okay. So once we've got a new clean setup, uh, now what version of Wales is in here? Ancient. Okay, let's um, 
presumably I've got that. In here. Okay. Um, is it in Wales? Yeah. Okay. Make sure I get into the right version. So V2 um, command Wales. Oh, I probably could have just done an update. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, no, I'll just do it here. Should be able to just do go install. Oh, yeah, what would be a really good idea would be to get the latest first. make sure it's clean. I <laughs> haven't got all my <laughs> shortcuts. Because uh, it's a clean environment. <laughs> oh, well, okay, let's do a pruned version of that. Clean out. No, just a couple gone. Okay. You'll clean now, bit of log. Hmm. Okay, that's okay, I think. We're going to get the latest plus a couple of little fixes by looks things, but that's fine. Okay. So, do it again. So, v2 command Wales, go install. I am surprised that. Ah, uh, Ubuntu hasn't gone. Hey, there's a new version. You have software updates, because it's been a while. Okay, so now if I go back to where the source code is. Let's just clear that out. Um, and if I do Wales Doctor, right, beta 44.2, and is everything there? We well, says we're good. Uh, we have everything there. Package config. We should be okay. Um, now, one of the things about this problem with Wayland is detecting whether you've got Wayland or not. I'm pretty sure the reason I've got a problem is that, um, well, let's see. Uh, I don't even know what <laughs> which which I'm in Wayland or uh, X11 on here. Let's just double check. So I think I should be able to do before I do any of this work. If I do set and then if I just grep for display, right? Okay, this will be Wayland then because the Wayland display environment has been set. And therefore, I can ignore the display one, I think. Hmm, we'll see. Let's build everything and make sure it fails. Um, and then we'll uh, 
a play. And then I'll do um, yeah, now I'll do some research on how to actually do the fix. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I suppose well, I'll show you the problem in a minute. I'll switch back to X11 in a minute and uh, hopefully show it working and then switch back again to Wayland and put in a fix to the issue that we will see, hopefully. Okay, so we are just building everything at the moment. Uh, we have... Checked all the packages there. And then we've built the CLI, the daemon, and now the GUI. That looks to be good. Just double double check. Echo dollar zero. Uh, dollar question mark. I was doing the right thing. Zero. Cool. Right. So I need to do two things here. One, I need to be running a daemon. And then I want to run the GUI. So let's just do the daemon in here. see if we've got any snippets okay and then I'll um, can I just just do another tab Maybe I should uh, reduce the form on that one. Ah. Stop it. How do I reduce the font? That's not working. Why is that? <sighs> right. It's not my alacrity that I like. Right. In theory, build bin snippet pixie GUI. Uh, well, just to show the potential issue here, I'm going to search and paste mode. is not working today okay so in here what should happen is if I pick one of these so um, let's just pick I should have just done that SP back tick there you go if I hit shift and enter it should select that um, and then paste it into the terminal behind but nothing happened now if I go look at the daemon it's not saying it had any problems That's not annoying at all. Well done. Right, let's sort out this font issue here. So 
was the highs of nine. I'll resize it. Okay. I'll just have to deal with that for the moment. And then uh Do them both. That is really hard. I don't like this terminal at all. Then again, I'm not used to stacking window managers anymore, really. I prefer tiling window managers. Okay, right. So, um, yeah, so nothing basically happened. It didn't do what I expected it to do. Um, I should double check that everything should work. So I'm going to come out of this session anyway. Um, I will uh, log out. And then pick me and behind my head you can't see this but I'm picking exorc now okay Let me go back in so this should in theory have a different setup. better way of doing it okay so if I do um, set pipe through grip display there is no Wayland display anymore which is good good to know so in theory if I now go into projects mine in M Jones snip it Let's see, command D, and I just run the daemon, and then I add another thingy here, bump that up a bit, and go into the GUI. that okay at least it's working you can see it um, and then this is the latest one so if I hit shift and enter again to do a paste into terminal it worked because that's on X11. So that's what it should have done on Wayland, but doesn't uh, because of um, an issue with using that. So the reason for that is because I am using a um, command line app for doing the copy and pastes on the daemon side of things. Uh, I think I'm using xclip. Um, I'm not sure actually what I'm using. I'll just uh, get my IDE up and running and we'll double check. Oh yeah, I'm using X2 tool. Okay. So 
So I need to find a way of doing a control V in Wayland, basically. Or telling, telling Wayland to say, hey, paste. what's in the pasteboard um, so this will be interesting mm, right okay so let's Well, I suppose there's a different way. There's, there's a couple of different things I could do here. I could just not use the command line app for this and see if there's some way of doing this in a library, which would be the right way of doing it. But I'm not sure whether I'm going to find anything for that. Um, But that would be good. The alternative is to find something that's a bit like XDo tool, which basically says, um, given these params, go do this action. Um, in this case, it's saying, um, do the, these keystrokes, control plus V together, paste. Um, but it would be even better if I just had a library that told the X11 or Wayland server to perform a paste. The only issue there would probably be that doing the shift uh, control V would be a little bit more difficult. But let's see. Um, have a quick look to see if there's any libraries that might do that. Uh, <laughs> what do I search for? Um, Keystroke. Keyboard. There is a keystroke there. Oh, that's the other way around. That's not what I want, in theory. Although this is going to be, that would be really useful <laughs> for, um, Or to expand. Get a single key and get key. Actually, I wonder if I did I use this? I'll have to check. Because I did have a go at doing uh, auto expand. Yeah, so that's all get. I want the opposite. I want to send. Okay, that's not what I want either. That's a key binder. Um, what 
could I search for then? And if I search for keyboard, that's going to show up hopefully other stuff. Input util. Again, that's all read stuff. I don't want read. Okay, what about paste? See, I'm already using, uh, what's the package I'm using? Nope, I want that, thanks. Clipboard. I don't think I can use that. Why? What's that one then? I'll check that. I'm using this one. It can write. It can basically read and write. Uh, give me the index. Where's the... Functions. I can read and I can write and I can watch, but I can't paste from it. What does this one do? Read and write. So same again. I need to paste. Mm. So I don't think I'm going to find a library. Um, shortcut. Okay, that could be useful for other things. Package hotkey provides basic facility to register a system level global hotkey shortcut so that an application can be notified if a user triggers the desired hotkey. A hotkey must be a combination of modifiers and a single key. Okay, keep that in mind because, I will keep that in mind because 
Oh, it would be nice to be able to do configuration of the hotkey and register it. So, index examples? No. It's just the example. It looks fairly simple to use. I can basically create a new hotkey with a modifier and string, although I don't like this. Hopefully there's something else as well. Because um, that, you don't really want to have I'd have to map <laughs> you'd have to map all your various keys to these things. Hopefully there's another way of doing that. Maybe there's already a map of some sort. Um, and then register and then, in theory, you can just wait for it in like a go thread or something. Go routine, rather. Because I could do that on the daemon. The daemon could listen to it and then just start up the GUI. Hmm, okay. Uh, anyway, that's for another day. <laughs> I need to be able to paste and I'm not finding... a way of doing that. So let's do hotkey. There's another term. Which we just found there. What about, um, I did key press, didn't I? No. Sequence of key presses. I don't want keyboard input, I want to create input. That's a key presser. Don't think it's going to work. It's all kind of really stuff, I think. It's not really giving me enough information as to how and what it does. Okay. Hmm, okay, so there's probably like some low level go routine I don't know about that does this kind of thing. What about 
send. We'll do it in like that. Send keys. No. Um. Press keys. I don't want to read, I want to write. library simulates the key presses on a keyboard. It runs on Linux, Windows and Mac. The keys change in different keyboard layouts of the target computers. I've tested this code on my system and I don't find any errors. If you have a bug, that's fine. Okay. So... New key bonding. Range set up. Weird. Okay. It doesn't take a string again either. Yeah, okay. I don't think I could do a package. It doesn't look as though there's something there. Unless, I mean, there could well be something more low level and standard. Let's have a quick look. Um, is it standard or standard lib? Standard. <clears throat> what have we got? Do, 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 do. I don't think there's going to be anything kind of no. Oh, I don't know what. That's what I should search for. Right. Is there like anything to do with Wayland? Interesting. It's well, WL scanner. Eh, nope. Uh, 
What does it do? All right, that's really low level stuff. It's got keyboard stuff. <laughs> Excuse me. Including a dispatch. Getting a bit low level though. Yeah, this is really low level stuff. But, you know, maybe in the future I could build upon it. Hmm. That could be useful, but it's a little bit low level for what I want just now. Alright, this is kind of basic, just getting the server. Yeah. All right, that's quite interesting, that library, but um, it's not quite what I need at the moment. Okay. Um, so at the moment, all I'm doing is basically running a command, xdo tool. Um, so I'm going to have to do something similar that takes keys and does stuff. Um, so, well, actually, I don't want to be in here anymore. Um, let's go here. And we will look for, oh, well, actually, Let's just search for Wayland <laughs> XDo tool. <laughs> See what we come up with. Oh. I've done this search before. Equivalent XDo tool for Wayland. When did I do this search? W type. Okay, let's have a quick look at this. Uh, blah blah blah. Can I have X detail? Basically, Y do tool. W type again. Okay.
Why do you tell? Okay, I'm going to talk about that as well. And it's available. All right, well, let's have a look. So, uh, why do tool? Okay. That's kind of what I want to do. Control C, but I want to do Control V. That was easy enough. What's the minus M? Okay. Well, I'll do what I'll do. Uh, one thing on here. Let's install it and see what's what. Um, is that another thingy? Um, let's do so. Have we got it anyway? Which type? Oh, hold on. I'm in. Right, okay. Uh, I need to drop out of this one again and go back into Wayland to do something useful. Okay. Right, let's make sure. Okay. Uh, w type. Nothing. Okay. Which X do tool? Yeah. Okay. Uh, apt search w type there we go is it info w type yeah Okay, that seems good, is it? <laughs> w do tool. So it maybe used to be called that, but now it's called W type. Okay, let's install that. When I package anything up, when I package up um, Snippet Pixie, I will have to basically have a dependency on that.
it's kind of better than having a dependency on gnome libs although i do already have that with whales so i could in theory potentially tap into the gnome libraries but mm, we'll see right so if i do a witch next to tool what was the one if you want to do that which w type okay oh, and just for fun what was it calling itself otherwise w do tool no good okay they obviously you had to change their name there uh so let's see what we can do here i don't understand that um minus m and then using little m again press modify oh and release modifier okay right so you have to say okay press control v release control Okay, uh, we'll, we'll try that then. Uh, I need to I haven't got a proper setup in this VM for doing my dev, so it's a bit of a. I don't really want to do it in here. Um, but I guess I might have to. What I could do is. Copy across, I guess. Okay, there we go. Uh, right, first of all, we need to update uh, the daemon basically. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do it in here and then and then test that it works okay on X still and then save it off. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll have to do obviously is um, do a little detection as well as to what's, what we're in. Oh. <laughs> Nothing of my, I haven't got any of my stuff. Uh, right. So maybe just do right. Let's just do a little quick test in here. Um, okay. 
So W type minus M control, then V, then release control. Theory. Bring that up. Let's go to the other terminal here. So without even recompiling the GUI, because it's separate, I should be able to run it. In search and paste mode. Hit that and then hit shift enter. Nothing happens. It's in the buffer. Thanks do tool, cool. Okay. That's just that. Why? W type. That is why I put in the code, isn't it? W type. Minus M, C T R L V minus M, C T R L. Oh, oh, that's a bust then, isn't it? Why not? Okay. Well, that's kind of ruined everything for Wayland. Well, I guess if I do a software update, and double check, and then I'm going to have to give up.
It's going to be a failure. Because I'm going to have to find another way of doing telling the Wayland server to do a paste. Do a search for that. Okay, while well, that's doing this thing, let's do a quick. So, uh, quick check on the issues here. Well, okay, so neither GNOME or KDE currently support, or didn't in January, support the virtual keyboard protocol in Wayland. Okay, that's the same thing. KDE and no. Okay, input method one. That's mad. Why? Why wouldn't they support a keyboard protocol? So can I basically not? Not do Wayland yet.
Great. Okay. Well, if I can't do W type. I am kind of screwed. Um, can I do Golang accessibility testing? See what comes up. Council web stuff. And I need ironically command line stuff. Yeah, okay. That's more. Okay. And stop. Right. I don't know what to do there then. The only way I could really do it, I suppose, is by hooking into nine libraries again, which I really don't want to do. It's a bit messy. The alternative is just wait for XDO tool to kind of be usable from Wayland, which is what the GNOME peeps kind of seem to say they're going to make it usable. So. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to do some more research on that then. Because it's clearly not as easy as it could be. If I just quickly go back, right, this is the one last, make sure that they haven't updated anything since, and then it's like, give up time, because uh, this is going nowhere. Grabbing stuff into the pasteboard again. Make sure that all works.
Yeah. Yep, definitely not been upgraded to a label it, so they haven't changed their mind. And what's the command? Um, key control V. And so if I try and do x do tool key control plus v echo dollar interesting. Hmm. So it's not complaining. Yet I do have in the buffer, so it definitely doesn't work, but it doesn't complain either. Definitely not going to work. Okay. Well, it's not going to happen. Uh, not today, anyway. I'll have to investigate if there's any other way I can do this. Um, kind of running out of time. Got to get on with my day. So I guess I will close everything down. And let it percolate and come back to it another time. Hmm. I really need to do something to support Wayland because it's slowly becoming the default. But if I can't do a simple thing like tell the system to paste the pasteboard makes it hard to uh, be compatible with a whole load of apps hmm okay well uh, until next time thanks for watching um, take care bye